quite excited now because Tiny Temper, the whole studio, there's an air of excitement <laughs> in the studio today. He's best known for his music, but did you know he's also passionate about property design oh, as yeah, well? yeah, very passionate. His latest series of extraordinary extensions, he follows uh, homeowners undertaking dream bills and renovations. So before we chat to him, let's take a look. Go! Whether it's epic and ambitious... <laughs> it's like IKEA self-assembly on steroids, isn't it? Or small and perfectly formed. Ah, oh, look at this. Wow! When you're injecting radical new designs... It's just demoralising and painful. <laughs> Doubling the size... Don't you think it's a bit... a bit much, no? <laughs> or altering the very fabric of a home. Ooh! This has got to be how you do open plan and gambling your life savings along the way. This is setting me back by just over a million. Is it all worth it? I'm kind of struggling to see how you're going to make this work. I can't believe this is our home. Oh, I'm in already. Me too. Yeah, you're hooked. Just now this is right, my more. street. Good, good. I like the play on words there. I like what you did. <laughs> nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. Coming from my day job. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, where did the idea of this originally come from? Great question. So, um, I guess for me personally, on my journey, um, I grew up in a council estate. So, as you can imagine, all of the flats were the same. All mm -hmm. of the interiors were the same. And then after that, we moved to a semi-detached in Plumstead, which was a little bit different. Um, when I started to make it in music, moved into an apartment in Canary Wharf, but as you can imagine, all the same. And then I bought my first property, which was Alexander McQueen's old house. So from the outside, it was a Victorian, but then when, when you went on the inside, he'd completely gutted out the whole thing. Wow. And that was the first time I was introduced to that concept, to the fact that you could even do something like that. Right. I think the producers of the show must have seen some of this stuff and they reached out during the pandemic and that's how I ended up doing it. Right. I did a, a renovation about, about 15 years ago. It was a house, I bought it for £100,000 mm -hmm. and I renovated it. But I found it so, such hard work and so stressful getting yeah. all the different people in. I spent about 30 grand on it, but I think I made 60,000 pounds. It is, it is yeah. stressful, it was a, it was a, isn't it? It's really stressful. Do you take on the stress or do you enjoy that? Um, so for me personally, um, I, you know, the way I'll do it, I'll get the contractors and I'll have like a project yeah. manager. And for me, I try my best to not take on the stress. Like my, day, for me personally, my day job is stressful enough as it is that I don't want to like, um, concern myself with all of that. But what's actually been great about doing this show is you meet all these, you know, different types of couples, families, and, you know, just like you're saying, Alison, they put... Sometimes they put their life savings yeah. into it, sometimes they're project managing it themselves, and throughout this show, you get to experience and go on a roller coaster of all their emotions. And so, yeah, watching them and actually, like, feeling empathetic for them has been quite an experience There's something well. about our society, isn't it, that we are, we are drilled into. That is how... You know, and it's so hard for young, that younger generation to get in. But when we are all kids, you were drilled into the... You grow up and the first thing you can do, if you can... Mortgage. ...is you get a mortgage. Yeah, right? buy a house, yeah. so Especially, I think, with the working-class parents. Yeah, I think we all have, right? absolutely, and yeah. So, so I'm really so interested in that story of yours. You know, yeah. Nigerian parents come over and the first thing... The only way you can actually make good money was, well, I get a house. 100%. And then I flip the house. 100%. So, yeah, um, I'm very humble begin beginnings. Like I said, grew up in a council estate in Peckham. Um, and I really saw my mum and dad when I was around 11 or 12 planning, you know, actually working on our social mobility. And it felt like the only option at the time, from what I could understand, was if we buy this house, you know, if we get a mortgage, buy this house, do it up, maybe we can get equity on it. And again, being privy to those conversations definitely made me a lot more interested in property. It's in the blood. Yeah, and if they, and if they never did that, who knows, I probably wouldn't even be here yeah, today. Interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, let's talk about some of the houses, because there's, I mean, there's three properties. There's, um, is it... Chinese vaults. Yeah, Chinese vaults. Ta yeah. Ta tell us about that. Yeah, of course. All right, so Chinese vaults. Here it is. Oh, lovely. Oh, OK, Look cool. Do you know what? Why not? Let me get my placard so we can do it like uh, yeah. Jordan the exception style. <laughs> this is okay. beautiful. OK, right. So take a ride in the secret elevator. Oh, yeah, I'm sold. To reach the basement <laughs> of the property where you'll find an underground playground. Oh, stop it. Um, oh, features wow. a soundproof music studio. So that's one of the things I loved most about this property you you wouldn't even guess but underneath it's got a state-of-the-art recording studio i felt like just squatting in the house and just oh staying wow there. Um, and then uh, 1920s fully stocked bar, which feels a bit like a speakeasy. Is that the lift you did? Yeah. 
So the lift just kind of pops out of nowhere and oh, takes it down. You can only take one person. Yeah. It is slow as hell, though, so we had to, we had to speed it up, speed it up in the, in the post-production. Oh, oh, it's in the ground? Yeah. How good is that? That is pretty cool. No, really that's cool, a cool house. It? Yeah. Nice. OK, what about the North London home? OK, right, so the North London home, are you ready, yeah? Yeah. yeah. OK, this home feels like a five-star hotel. Enter the house to find 20-foot high chandeliers, aquarium room dividers. Oh, my Ooh. Lord. And it also features a wall-to-wall -wall pool and also a spa treatment room. There's also a cinema room and a gym. Can I just say, Tiny, you look like you belong in that house. Then. Do you know what? Thank you, Alison. <laughs> Thank you. you Music like to you my belong. ears. <laughs> and then the final one is the curved house. Tell us uh, about that. OK, so the final one is the episode that just came out last Friday. Yeah. Oh so there's God. a new episode this Friday again at 8 p.m. I want to live there. But these guys are actually old friends of mine. So a really? um, lovely guy and his wife called John and Heather, and they were big dogs in the music industry. They used to have all of the sound equipment, and we basically everyone used to hire off of them. Look at them now. Yeah, I think they sold the company, they've retired, and then they've done this incredible house, which basically has a state-of-the-art spa, leisure complex. Um, it's all eco-friendly with the heating pumps, and they've got a jacuzzi there, sauna. It's incredible. Did you take any inspiration from any of the bills that you saw and used it in your own life at all? My, uh, my plan was to take as much inspiration as possible <laughs> from, from all of the take? bills. What did you take? Um, so basically, um, I recently bought a new studio in northwest London, um, and this studio is actually going to be open to the public. So there's five studios, there's a studio complex, and one of the things I saw in John and Heather's was this thing called AccuPanel. Um, so, uh, basically, he, he plugged me with these guys called Wood Veneer Hub, and they basically have these wall panels that yeah. are, like, little, like, I don't know, walnut slats, basically. <sighs> Um, oh, I and, love that. I love yeah, that Yeah, and style. so here's me in the studio basically trying to do a bit of sanding on the floor and eventually get some of these panels up. You get your hands dirty on the show as well, don't you? Muck in. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But I think what, um, watching how the couples got their hands dirty inspired me to actually do my own bit of DIY. Well, you save quite a little bit of money. If you get involved and you don't, like... You know, a little bit. Get everyone you can, out. You, you can save, save a lot. lot. Yeah. A and lot. there's so many like videos now on TikTok and on Instagram that you can learn how to do like units and stuff like. Sorry, Definitely. I'm obsessed. No. Like, I love stuff like. But it's so Definitely. interesting because like a, a house renovation budget can suddenly just yeah. you know, easily just get, you put the first figure down and you may as well just double it or triple yeah. it. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Can we just have a word? Because you, you know, you were one of the sort of defining artists, right? When you started out. Mm -hmm. In 2000, what 10? You must be. What do you think the music industry is at now? I mean, it's so must, you must feel very proud of the of the trail that you played. A hundred percent, a hundred percent, Derma. Um, yeah, I'm so proud of like where British music is, especially like Black British music. You know, just being entirely real. I remember when I first started rapping. Rapping was like almost a joke in the UK. Like when I first started, people never believed that we could end up. You know having our own 50 cents mm. and Jay-Z's yeah. and whatnot, and now that's very much happening. So I feel like, like you said, I've definitely blazed the trail. Um, but I also wanted to be able to show, like, other sides of my personality. Of and, you know, I'm definitely... You know, music is my passion and my main day job, but I feel like I'm more than that, and my brain oh, takes me to other places. Um, and so this was a perfect opportunity to do yeah. that. I feel a bit like this show, get, we, like, get to know your personality in this show. I think it's going to be great. I'm yeah. very excited about it. Extraordinary Extensions continues tonight on Channel 4 at 8pm. Thank you, Tiny. Thank, Thank you, Tiny. So much. Good to see you.